Welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Gia cars. I'll be showing you everything about Genesis GV60. I'm seeing it for the first time ever in person, and this is the matte white color. You really have to see this Genesis GV60 in person. The same goes for me because I thought this car was um, quite small because I've seen the spy shots and there are leaks. It's not even leaks, now it's officially world debuted. It kind of made me thinking that this car is relatively small. And that's of course being, you know, this car named GV60. It kind of makes you think that this is a lower division, lower version of the GV70, right? Well, because that's how the cars are with the numbers. Smaller the number, smaller the car, less expensive it is, so on and so on. However, that's not the case with the GV60. That is because GV70 is the ICE internal combustion engine car that runs on the regular chassis that we know of for internal combustion engine cars. However, for the first time ever from Genesis brand, GV60 has has utilized the EGMP platform, Hyundai Motor Group's first EV solely dedicated platform. And with that, Genesis was able to pull out this unbelievable wheelbase, starting from left to right, front to the back, 2,900 millimeters. This car is actually much more roomier inside than GV70. And this is the first one of the freshest colors that Genesis has introduced along with the copper. A little bit of a shame that I can't show you. I don't have the copper here. You know what? I want to show you the white one. This is my favorite. So I'll have the exact name up there, but just come over here. Let's get started with this clamshell type cladding, excuse me, bonnet. So first introduced on Hyundai Ioniq 5, the bonnet is like a literally a clamshell like that hugs over this fender and the cladding right here. I have forever debate on this cladding colors. Some people like the plastic black finish, the traditional good old SUV way versus having the cladding color matched to the body like the ones that we have seen on Genesis GV80. So some people like this one, some people just hate it. Tell me in the comments below which one you guys like better and what you guys think about this traditional black cladding around this um, GV60. This is the DRL of this Genesis GV60. And when you have the headlights on, these two lights turn on. And also this portion of the DRL works as the turn signal as well. Off. Headlight on and high beam on. And the turn signal not matrix and emergency light and genesis gv60 still has that quad headlight which is the brand identity of this car having two lines going left and right and also gv60 has a lot of ice internal combustion engine cars characteristics also starting off with this black grill a little hard time catching it up but as we know, EV, they don't need grills. They don't really utilize the air for much things unlike ice. There is the sensors for the radar. I want to point out that the front lip right here sticks out. Also characteristic that of a race car and sports cars. One more thing, they could have just um, made a hole with a camera right there for the radars and sensors but instead they still have designed it this way that represents the emblem of the genesis right here the crest design distinctively found on the front of the car as well digital side mirror also abbreviated dsm and unlike the dsm that we have seen on ionic 5 when it's folded now it reduces the space significantly so open it up on unfold so that is a screen that we get when the camera is right there it stretches out like about that much so it still does look like the length of the conventional side mirror that we have however this would significantly reduce the drag created by the air coming in from the front of the mirror so once again when folded the space has been significantly reduced, nearly about half of it. Now the folding, the side mirrors, do actually mean worthwhile folding. 
the wheels right here also a characteristics of the ice because for the most times we see with the evs the best design that increases the mpg however genesis gv60 has the complicated design where there are a lot of lots and slots focusing about the design not necessarily about the mpg alone so it's right here the calipers are finished in black which is completely covered hopefully it's not on this side and nearly the same case let's check out this one right here all right so this is uh, probably the good old conventional one piston steel brakes it doesn't have the genesis right there so this is the four piston it's got the four pistons on the front and supposedly there is that Genesis brand logo right here. Instead of just the boring side skirt that we see on traditional SUVs, Genesis has gone through another step of creating this design right here. The whole side skirt opens up so that you won't get your pants dirty. Usually when you have dirty pants right here, that's all because you've collected the dust coming off of this uh, side skirt. The whole side skirt opens up all together with the door. And even so, you see the ground clearance is still good enough. Starting with the A-pillar, they have finished the A-pillar with the high gloss black, making it look bling bling. And also, wow, they have this, um, not a chrome, but metal finish and accent on top of here. There's a lot of design on this GV70, GV60, continued throughout. Also all the way to the C-pillar and this V-shape right here. This is the signatory design of the GV60. It is unique to GV60 thus far and is also continued all the way down. And all GV60 has spoiler and with the spoiler, Genesis is missing the rear wiper. A lot of people, well some people do want them. But however, I've been driving cars with a slanted roof like that. And when the roof drops down so quickly like that, also which is carried over from all the way to the front, to the middle and to the back, this spoiler right here would actually create the Voltex right here. That's why the SUVs get their butts really dirty. And also those cars that drop down super quickly, they provide the rear wiper because all the dust will be collected on the rear windshield. However, that's not the case with the GV60, especially fast dropping rear roof like that because this spoiler would send out the air all the way, creating the Voltex right here. So the dust is not collected to the glass. And also the rear tail light is the signatory quad lights that we have been seeing from the both front and back, symmetrical left and right. However, unlike the GV80 and other Genesis brands that we've seen thus far, including in G80 and all, um, the design, the angle where the tail light shoots out, it actually is not parallel, rather they are diverging as they go out or go in. The whole thing does not light up but let me show you so this portion of the tail light is actually works as a reflector it literally is a reflector it re reflects light my gopro is flickering it's inside all right so getting sturdy and firm lights coming off of the tail light like that blinkers are here also another reflector for the rear and that is the reverse light the trunk button is right there, hidden type, and you can feel it with the rubber right away. Just the good old close and close lock button and everything is automated. You also have the screen right here to keep the trunk compartment nice and tidy. I want to show you the inside, this Genesis GV60. Just take a moment to appreciate the interior design with this mirrors, even everything here is completely new something that i haven't seen before on any other genesis thus far with the steering wheel i mean it's very self-explanatory direct and intuitive the buttons are huge this is not a tiny button that we have seen look at that it's size of my thumb and this is the boost that will provide extra power for 10 seconds so it's pretty much just like the ngs button that hyundai n brands have ngs stands for angry and shift and you can select through different drive modes it also has the pedal shift that will change the levels of the regenerative brakes just the good old you know headlight buttons right here you can play around with and also 
the same wiper completely designed differently designed as well and unfortunately i won't be able to show you the spear moving um they're not turning on the car here for the safety precautions there is the ventilated seats it is the steering wheel auto hold cameras and everything is very direct and self-explanatory wireless charging pads and beautiful beautiful armrest and i love this neon stitch this part right here suede this fabric material actually provides a better hold of your body when you're in the car making fast maneuvers and you're when you're tracking your car it's saying out loud that i am designed for the sporty driving i'm a sports car like or at least i want to be one <laughs> wow, and it's a drawer type it's not drop down it's the second time i start seeing it on uh, after ionic 5. not as big as that but it is a drawer type there are ports for the usb charging and also the onboard camera as well as 12 volt and what is this right here oh look at that there is a hidden compartment that looks like the sunglasses for me what do you guys think telescopic provided all four directions front and back and top and bottom let's turn on the car again i can't start the car but at least i want to have the car on show you the display right here wow and look at that it has the uh, augmented reality navigation here on the screen as well and also don't forget about the hud right here it has the good old um, genesis ui this is beautiful what do you guys think so the vent is also very slim yet they're everywhere where they need to be the beauty of the white space which is the interior theme of the genesis brand starting with the gv80 has been implemented on this car as well and gv60 is supported with bang and a lufsen sound system the premium sound system all around and this genesis gv60 also provides a zero gravity mode like sitting position from the ionic 5. it doesn't really you know push out the leg to the front whereas ionic 5 did but when i actually take a seat on this position right here it is very relaxing as well and you can work it out with these buttons right here at a push of a button the seat would go back and forth and tilt and come back and on and on and this is not alcantara this is fabric and in the middle is leather so this is the opposite of the opposite that i just told you about so this is the camera that you use to have the car face recognize you and you can open lock and drive the car without a key just by having your biometric checked out how convenient is that everything is like just smartphone like and one touch i like on the gv60 is this reflector right here when the two doors are open the car on the back would be able to notice the car immediately from the reflection and going into the second row seat as well oh there is a cup holder on the second row seat too the beauty of this egmp platform no center tunnel so you can go So you can move around the car super easy and there is also storage area right here this time it is c type and you can slide and control and some again document storage the vents are placed right on this side this provides much better and direct ac and i can control it solely to myself so you can fold the second row using the lever as well as on this side this is a huge space you can fit in pretty much everything you're of your daily needs no problem and the beauty of the egmp platform is of course that you know oh, look at the design that they have come up with right here but this is also v2l equipped and this time genesis is not promoting that much on a b about the v2l just because it comes standard on all of the egmp platforms that's including in the ionic 5 ev6 and now gv60 the v2l it's an amazing thing to have if you haven't tried it out it's a beautiful one piece of technology you can use all the appliances literally all you need is just a multi-tab and then you're good to go so close you can tilt the rear seat as well and it goes about that much and so starting with the first lock about 10 levels so i skipped through some of them just look at that animation 
same thing for the other side as well so just look at that look how laid back the second row seat is you don't really have to be in you know first row passenger seat to fully enjoy the space out of this car anymore well yeah you can have more leg room on the front row the second row seat isn't bad, bad at all well i have to admit the first row seats are a little more cozy due to the design of the seat right here with the bolsters and all but the front is the tiny one that we have been seeing on all wheel drive cars starting with ionic 5 and ev6 and the finish is done right here to absorb not only the vibration but also the noise there is the sound absorbent on the front that will reduce the sound going in to the cabin from the front of the car and they've got brand new genesis logo this time and, and i absolutely love it all the brands have now recently been moving from the 3d design that they had into now this 2d and i i love it wow this is the smallest suv in the genesis family as we all know but it's built on egmp platform and that enables a huge space within the car actually gv60 outperforms the gv70 gv70 is a larger car than this but the car being the internal combustion engine car provides less of the space than gv60 this gv60 may not look as big of a car that than that it actually is because again i thought the same before i came out to check out this car but this car is no small car by any means even if you compare this to gia ev6 you know gv60 has almost identical numbers in all throughout except for some of the design shorter trunk space on the back but other than that all the other numbers and figures stay nearly identical that being said i really can't wait to test drive this gv60 especially that drift mode it's gonna be so much fun thank you for tuning in checking out the video also checking out the gv60 just take a look at that one more time they also have that crest design on the upper part of the hood as well so this is something that i couldn't see from the white the car being black and the lighting is actually you know emphasizing it's a masculine and the design the character lines right here here and there thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video and this is the first time in the world on a conventional production car to have